Hello everybody, I'm Brent Pierce and today I'll be explaining the engine in the aircraft that I fly. And I'll be using the acronym LHAM to explain that. The aircraft that I fly is the Archer PA-28-181. Let's start out with L and LHAM. That stands for Lycoming. That is the manufacturer of the power plant that is in the aircraft that I fly. And then you have O-360-A4M. What does that L stand for? Well. O stands for horizontally opposed, which I'll get to in a second. And then 360. That is the actual size of the bore uh, for the cylinder that the piston slides up and down inside of. And in avionics, it's measured in cubic inches. Small engines per se, let's say a four-wheeler or a dirt bike, it's measured in cc, if that sounds familiar at all, which means cubic centimeters. If you were to sum it all up for this aircraft specifically, it's a four cylinder. So the, the volume that one cylinder has, all of them combined, equals 360 cubic inches. To dummy that down even further, that is actually just shy of six liters of water if you were to fill it all up. Roughly 5.9 liters to be exact. And then dash A4M. That stands for the additional parts package that your aircraft is equipped with. Um, to talk about that, you'd have like, what, what kind of instruments does it have? Is it a glass cockpit? Um, what kind of avionics does it have? And to find the exacts on what that actually stands for, you can look, up, look it up in the um, POH that's specific for your aircraft. But mine is equipped with the A4M. And it has 180 horsepower, like I said, it's a four cylinder. Moving on, horizontally opposed. Like I said earlier, if you're looking at the engine straight on, the pistons are gonna be aligned in a horizontal manner and they're gonna work in a horizontal manner as well. So as it's drawn out, when you have um, internal combustion, it's gonna go out and then in, right? So it's gonna work on a horizontal plane. That's what horizontally opposed means how the engine is in, in, in retrospect, how the pistons are operating as well, which is horizontally. Moving down, air cool, just as it says. It's air cool, it relies on the air to cool down the engine, coming over to call and going over the engine to make sure that it's you know, operating within uh, normal operating temperatures. So, I mean, you can have liquid cool, but this one's not liquid cool, it's air cooled. And naturally aspirated. That means that they're there is no supercharger, there's no turbocharger. It relies solely on the atmosphere's barometric pressure and that's how it's gonna run, basically. Um, it's, it's, it's not condensing the air to make it so, you know, um, I mean, it would be helpful if you were like in the mountains or something like that and you need um, a turbocharger to make it so it's, it's thinking that it's operating at, uh, you know, lower elevation and then it's going to have more power per se because it's going to you know condense the air so it would run smoother so your your takeoff and roll is going to be that much better but this one's just naturally aspirated it's just taking the air out of the atmosphere whatever the barometric pressure is that's how it's going to run it's going to you know run at what it what it thinks it's at um, based on what the pressures of the atmosphere are that's what naturally aspirated means direct drive just as it states as well. Direct drive means that um, straight from the engine, you'll have probably a, a journal connecting right to the propeller itself. There's no other piece. Um, it, it just goes straight from the engine to the propeller, direct drive, direct to the propeller. So it'll be spinning the propeller directly off the engine with it, with nothing else in between. Um, th so this is the uh, engine for the Archer that I fly. I hope that you learned something and you enjoyed it, and until next time, thank you very much.